Welcome to the first episode of This Week Disney. With This Week Disney, we will give you a summary of the big Disney parks and Disney travel news stories. What is important to know? Something you might have missed? Or maybe a fun story? We hope you like it. Let's get started. This week, an official offer has been made to Euro Disney SEA shareholders. Shareholders will receive two euros per share and can participate until June 8th. Current members of the shareholders club will receive the same privileges for the next 10 years. When the buyout is completed, the Walt Disney Company gains full control over Disney and Paris and will delist the company from the Euronext stock exchange. Next to this, the Walt Disney Company will invest $1.5 billion in Disney and Paris, money that the resort needs for hotel refurbishments and new rides. More details can be found on a special website we will list in the description. Hyper Space Mountain opened in Disney and Paris. Space Mountain Mission 2 closed in January and to receive its Star Wars makeover. Attendees of the Star Wars Knights were amongst the first ones to ride this new version. On May 7th, the ride opened officially to public. Initial reviews are good, besides that there are some concerns about how snug the cards are. We do think it's a shame that the ride only opened just now as Season of the Force ended in March and the park celebrated its 25th anniversary already last month. Pharaoh Wishes. After 14 years, the last performance of this nighttime spectacular took place on Thursday, May 11th. People waited from rope drop to have a good spot. Photos and videos of the final performance showed large crowds. People wanted to see the show one more time. We saw it for the last time a few weeks ago when we were in Disney World for a round the world trip. And we will sure miss Wishes and its merry seasonal variations. Wishes got replaced by Happily Ever After. This new time, nighttime spectacular saw its debut on May 12th. While we were not at the park, we got up at 3 a.m. and watched the live stream. From what we were able to see, Happily Ever After is an amazing show with elements from more than 25 different Disney movies. And in case you are wondering, yes, Tinkerbell still flies. We can't wait to see it. The theme song for Happily Ever After can be downloaded and or streamed. Click on the link in the description on how you can listen to it. Walt well, Disney News Today reported that there was a small fire outside Cinderella's castle near the Wishing Well. Most likely this was related to fallout from the Wishes firework. Luckily, everything was back to normal in no time. Rumor has it that Haunted Mansion themed restaurants are coming to Disneyland and Walt Disney World. These restaurants will offer an immersive dining experience, just like for instance Blue Bayou and Be Our Guest. We can't wait. When Pandora, a world of avatar opens at Animal Kingdom, guests will have the ability to have their face put on an avatar action figure. A 3D facial scanner will scan your face after which you can choose between a male, female or a child version. The whole process will take about 45 minutes and will cost you $75. This week also previews started for a world of avatar Pandora. Cast members already had their previews a few weeks ago but now guests are also invited to experience everything that is new. After a long hiatus, the Pixar Play Parade is finally back at Disney California Adventure. The parade is on daily, starting at 5.30. New magic shots have arrived at Animal Kingdom. Magic shots are great little additions that make your photos more magical. Ask your PhotoPass photographer in case he doesn't offer them. New additions in Animal Kingdom are Tinkerbell, Butterflies, Pascal, The Lion King, The Jungle Book, and It's a Bug Life. We always try to do as many as we can, and when you have the right PhotoPass photographer, he or she will be happy to oblige. During the 5K at the Tinkerbell Half Marathon Weekend at Disneyland, runners didn't see any characters. According to information that runners received from Run Disney, this was done to prevent route congestion from occurring. Social media was buzzing with complaints. For the 10K and the Half Marathon, characters are back out on the course for photo opportunities with the runners. If this was done after the complaints, it's not yet clear. Nemo and Friends Sea Rider opened at Tokyo Disney Sea on May 12th. This ride, located in Port Discovery, has you shrink in a submersible to discover the wondrous world of marine and meet some of the characters of Finding Dory. TDR Explorer was able to ride Sea Rider and wrote a review. We will list the link in the description. Fantasmic is returning this summer to Rivers of America. The team made numerous changes and added some new scenes. From one of the scenes, the Aladdin scene, concept art has been released and it looks amazing. Annual pass holders at Disneyland can also get an exclusive Fantasmic t-shirt. In the next few days, Shanghai Disney Resort will welcome its 10th millionth visitor. This is just a few months after the resort welcomes its 8th millionth visitor and still ahead of its first anniversary next month. Most likely, the popularity of the resort will only increase now that the first edition of Toy Story Land has been announced. Already planning Halloween or Christmas? When you plan on visiting Walt Disney World during these seasons, you can already purchase tickets for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. The Halloween parties start on August 25th and will last for 32 nights. Tickets will cost 74 bucks for adults and $69 for children. The Christmas parties will start on November 9th and will last 21 nights. Tickets will cost you $89 for adults and $84 for children. Hong Kong Disneyland is going to see massive changes in the next few years. A total of $1.4 billion will be spent on changes to the park which will start in 2018 and last until 2023. Some of the changes are transforming the castle for new daytime and nighttime shows and experiences. 
an all-new Frozen land where guests can experience characters and stories from their beloved movie. Marvel will also get some love with a dedicated area with some new Marvel attractions and entertainment. And last but not least, Moana will get its own village festival in Adventureland, which will also see a new stage show. So this was the first This Week Disney. If you have any stories we should not miss, feel free to send them to us either via Twitter, email, or just as a comment in this video. Be sure to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. See you next week.